Well, welcome everybody back to Scrubcast. I am here with Wild King. Wild King, how you doing today? How's uh, how's your week been? I've been able to do a lot of Overwatch this last week. Same. A lot here. of quick play, a little bit of comp, just relaxing, enjoying the game. Finally, starting to get back to that point where I enjoy playing this game. I'm starting to enjoy uh, climbing the ranks a little bit more too nowadays. Uh, I, I think we'll get into why, um, and I'm still not super confident in Blizzard's future content, but we'll see how that. We'll talk about that a little bit later too. Uh, but I feel like we're hitting a point. You can agree or disagree, Wild, that where the game has been in such a static state long enough that we've been a little bit bored with it. And then we're coming back to the phase where we're looking at it in a new kind of light. We're just accepting, right, with the content that we have now. Uh, and we're loving the core Overwatch gameplay that we've kind of always loved. Correct or incorrect? Do you disagree or agree? Let's say it's a little bit of both. There's a lot of players that are doing exactly what you just said, where... We're really getting back to just the roots of Overwatch, enjoying what's here, not expecting anything new, because we know it's a waiting game at this point. But I've also seen the most custom games I have ever seen over the, this last week. Of just different custom games, people making new custom games, just if... I had to guess trying to play something that they love just in a different way. Well, I've always said too that we as the community need to take Overwatch from Blizzard. Uh, we've seen this, and I'll, I guess I usually do reference Counter Strike, where the Counter Strike community has so many crazy game modes that have come out of just the Counter Strike engine and so many different ways of playing Counter Strike that probably the vast majority of Counter-Strike players are not actually playing Counter-Strike. They're playing some other game built on the same platform. And you're right, actually, a lot of the uh, a lot of the content creators that I've been watching have been playing different game modes and setting different environments up. Uh, I've always said this is a good thing. You, have you played any of them? What's, what, what has stood out to you the most in these custom game modes? I mean, I'd, I'd try and work my way through some of them i got my few that i go to on the regular would be the zombies there's a couple different styles of zombies some have different objectives some are just survive but those i've been having a lot of fun with like your one on eichenwald that's just wave after wave survive get upgrades but then i've also been doing a little bit of on a parkour i always do lucio surf that's just if it's there i'll probably click on it if i'm playing any support but i've been seeing some more interesting ones some newer game modes coming out I haven't clicked on them yet to really see what they are but they're populated and they stay populated from what i've seen like that's so. where i think uh a good portion of Overwatch's dedicated audience... That's where I think the good portion of Overwatch's dedicated audience play. I know, and I've mentioned this before, that we have... Because we're such kind of like core players in terms of competitive... and Like when you open up the game, it's like quick play or competitive, right? Like that's the game mode of Overwatch because we're those kind of... And even quick play is like competitive. So if the if the game is being catered to one audience it's definitely the competitive scene but a vast majority of players at least i think at least i hope would be playing and probably are playing mu much more casual styles of overwatch they love the heroes they love their abilities they love the lore they love the maps um they, they don't play the game the same way that we do uh I, and in in flipping that too another way like I think that we can appreciate that too as competitive players. Um, is there any reason why that you've been pulled over to those kind of more custom game modes, Wild? Just need a break or played a rough game in comp and wanted to just take a 30-minute break from the game, but I can't pull myself away from it because I 
I guess I'm just addicted to Overwatch. But needed something else to do for a little bit or waiting for people to hop on to run a stack with and I just launch one of those up or go find one and join it and just sit there for a while. Hang out. Yeah. Play a little bit of games. Play actually play the game, right? Yeah. I like see how far you can get and what the full game mode has to offer. Cause I've been into like widow headshot only modes where Oh my gosh, there's a Widowmaker in there that probably, the account at least doesn't play any competitive, but they're just destroying everybody. Or I played Lucio Tag before where this guy was playing Lucio on this account that only played quick play and looked like played custom games. And I swear he must have been Grandmaster Top 500 because just the way he moved around the battlefield, or at least, you know, Masters, if anything. Uh, like... Do you see a brag? I obviously with Overwatch too. We haven't seen much in terms of the workshop, but do you see that becoming something that people gravitate towards in Overwatch two, or something that we can build off more, especially as a long term community? Oh, most definitely. In this, I think these last few months have kind of solidified that too, with just a lot of newer game modes coming out for Overwatch. Just people pre creating them on their own and updating old ones that have kind of fallen under the radar. But I think they've started to build up a community there that it has the same consistent people that go find them and play them. So you start to get to know names and same thing with comp once you get into the higher elos where you're starting to see those same people over and over. Or even in quick play, wherever your MMR is. So you start to recognize those names, and that builds the community. And now that I think it's there, it's going to be hard for them to just ignore that. They'll keep doing what they're doing. Like, this is the reason why Minecraft, for example, has lasted as long as it has. The What is Minecraft is like a 100,000 different things to a million different people. To a 100 million different people. Uh, if you jump onto survival of a survival server of different, just a different version, the game is completely different. You can actually go to an older version of Minecraft. Like imagine being able to go to an older version of Overwatch. I bet you, if if Blizzard let us do that, there might even be groups that build custom game modes and systems around those older versions that we knew we loved and we built whatever type of game style around. Uh, I've noticed, just to add this a little bit too, uh, I've noticed that the workshop guys, the guys who actually spent the time to learn how the workshop works, <laughs> are, have become really, really good at it. There are some yes. unbelievable game modes out there now. And, and go ahead. They're so smooth and so clean. It feels like you're just playing a different game. It really does. The... The initial stages, and this is where I had a hard time. I'm, I'm okay at it. I can work with the workshop a little bit. Uh, but there is a large hump that you have to learn, that you have to go over, to be able to even just use it for the basics. Uh, it's a bit different than most other server structures, as far as I've known, and I've played with a lot of different servers so far. It, Especially since, too, it's in-engine modding. It's, some, it's something where you have to deal with, like, the the very structured parameters that Blizzard gives you as opposed to being able to go into like the actual back end of how whatever system you're dealing with works and tweak each individual damage parameter like within text files and be able to script those and automate those changes and also I mean, we, that's I'm getting a little derailed here but the people who are into that during back to come wild side just with the gameplay are doing the same thing on the development side we're seeing some insane setups that are just so smooth that the game looks like Overwatch uh, hopefully, with Overwatch 2, we are going to see custom game modes that do rival the co-op experience. Because there are a few co-op game modes out there. Have you played any of the, I've jumped into them a few times, but have you played any of the co-op game modes, custom game modes? And you were actually mentioning so, the Wave one. That, that, sorry, that you've mentioned it too. So go. Yeah, so I've done a lot of time on the Zombies one on Eichenwald, where it's just co-op waves... And sometimes it's a little iffy, just 
you hop in the game and they're on wave 50 and you just instantly die. Because everything there will one-shot you at that point. So you got to kind of hop in them early. But they've also got some more complex ones. I know there's... It rotates maps and it's a zombie game mode that's... You can customize the level, what types of zombies, different characters as zombies do different things that you have to watch out for. And I've had a lot of fun with those when you can actually get a like group of people in there. But every once in a while you just get a bunch of people that have never played this before and it's just a confusing time. It's a mess, yeah. Yeah. But when you give people that do it a lot, those actually turn pretty fun. Kind of run a test one and then crank up the difficulty and make a more challenging way I, to get through it. I've even jumped into games where um, where there was like an RPG game that I was playing a while ago. And they had different maps for the RPG. And you leveled up and you did all these kind of quests. And there's actually I, somebody, hopefully somebody listening to this knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, knows the name of it. But it was so detailed. They even gave your character extra abilities that you could upgrade. It was, it was absolutely incredible. And no, I haven't played much of that, and I don't. I haven't jumped into it recently. It's something that, especially when we do scraps, which is a little bit later on for those who are interested, every Sunday at four p.m. Uh, West Coast, Best Coast, um, we do custom game modes and whatnot. It, like it is something that is very, very close to my heart. Like it's something that we deal with every single week and and mess with. So. Hopefully, we do see this this community grow because we're seeing kind of the the little sprouts of it. The seeds have been planted with the workshop, and we're starting to see the sprouts of something that that could be absolutely incredible. Uh, is there anything in particular that you want to highlight within the uh, within the workshop community workshop systems um, that I probably missed? Because again, I haven't played much of it. Anytime you scroll through the workshop, there's some very different game modes. So you're always going to have your aim trainers and your, like, there's a lot of workshop modes that are for mechanical training to warm up if you're going into comp or get ready for your day of playing the game. But I think a lot of people should try out some of those more wacky, interesting ones and see what there is and maybe go try and tweak some stuff yourself and make your own. The more people that learn it, the more fun and interesting games we'll have in there. I think it needs a bigger player base, definitely. Uh, more people playing it, because there are some weird titles. I think a lot of the times when you jump into there, I, there are some servers that feel like we're, in, we're on 4chan, but in the server list, which is a little funky, and that actually does probably scare quite a few people away. When you see things, especially you get it like on a paintball, everybody's played on a paintball, widow headshot only, and then, you know, uh, 18 plus, yeah, kind of chat, voice chat only, chill, no kill, weird, ch those those things. I think there's a place for that, but it's definitely something that had kind of overtaken the 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 screen space of the browser. And that a lot of these really, really good game modes have been hidden. And hopefully we start to see those bubble up a little bit more. Um, I, 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 Just to check, too, you've seen... It, it is a little bit weird sometimes when you jump in there, right? Oh, I joined those games immediately. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Wild's hosting them. He's the one sitting there in voice chat with uh, some... Yeah, never mind. Anyways, okay. Most of, the, most of those game modes are just... Really, it's just adults chit-chatting. Yes. Not really anything weird. Most of the time, every once in a while, you get into one, and it's probably best to leave that. But for the most part, it's just people chit-chatting. But in terms of finding game modes, it's really difficult. That's the big thing. Finding really good game modes that aren't just the basic Widow headshots and, you know, whatever, on a paintball that... Uh, like I, I do think it's worth a dig. Maybe we'll go into that sometime and dig into some workshop game modes and take a peek as a community and find some really good ones. Potentially there's some stuff that we could probably play and uh, yeah. and highlight a little bit more. Um, do some workshop streams. That's an idea. Huh. Anyways, we'll think about that. We'll put that out there. Uh, okay, well, 
let's just quickly talk about Overwatch as it is. Competitive. Have you played? You've been saying you've played a little more recently. Um, what's been your experience in the competitive ladder? Just a little bit. Been playing on my Diamond account. Just kind of relaxing. Um, Bastion is broken. <laughs> Everyone's forgetting how to play him again. Or play against him. So I've been having some fun with Bastion. But... Comp is... I don't think too much has changed there. You got a lot of people really hitting the grind right now for last season trying to get themselves up as high as they can but I've also seen a lot of people just kind of dropping off and really just waiting playing anything else they can looking for those custom games or quick play or something else just waiting for Overwatch 2 to come out yeah, there's different types of players, I think. And I, I feel, I like to feel both sides of the excitement. There's actually something, uh, it's called playing like a designer, where I like to, to think of it as like um, being on the roller coaster while also being excited for how the roller coaster is built. Um, there's a lot of people who are there, uh, they love the roller coaster. They love the experience of the roller coaster. Uh, and like... I, I feel the disappointment in that right now. I feel like we've been playing, we've been fighting, we've been riding the same roller coaster over and over and over and over again. And much as I love to perfect it, and I love it myself, it's my favorite favorite roller coaster that I play. Um, there is a little bit of like, well, if if I'm a silver player, um, <laughs> kind of no, it's mostly playing on silver and DPS. But you know, as as a platinum player, or whatever, I get somewhere to go. But if I've been silver since like season fucking three, four, and I know people that have been, um, it's really hard for you to go. Well, I'm going to climb and get as high as I possibly can because you've been trying to climb forever, and so now the mindset is like, I'm going to wait till Overwatch Two comes out, and then I'm going to have new content while I have a bunch of fun trying to do my best, and probably not climbing the most you know most efficient or climbing really efficiently but at least having like new content to do while doing it but then my designer perspective is like well i love the game to sit in one i love the the perfect design of overwatch right now and i think that's kind of what like i well uh, sorry again i'm kind of just talking through here but i think it's something that wild does appreciate too i can appreciate on both sides where it's like we love this roller coaster that we've been riding we love the way it's built and we're going to be like like, at least for me, I've been trying to climb quite a bit on my tank. I hit diamond again, yay, in like, I don't know how many months, how many seasons, uh, which felt really good. Um, but it's also like chilling too, like Wild said, where it's not like, like I'm tryharding, but it's a lot of fun while doing it. Do you have any goals like that, Wild? Do you have, you mentioned that some people are trying their hardest. Are you trying your hardest uh, to get through games? Of course not. Hardest is like, uh, you said you're playing Bastion, so well, let's just let's <laughs> you know. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but are you? Do you have a goal in mind before Overwatch Two comes out, or are you just really having a lot of fun doing what you're doing at the moment, enjoying the roller coaster for what it is? First and foremost, Bastion is probably my best DPS, so okay, don't come at me for that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love Bastion; he's a fun character. But as far as goals right now, I'm. I'm more on the other boat there where I'm just kind of relaxed, not really focused on much for climbing purposes, more just hanging out with people, enjoying the game. I don't think I've touched my main account this whole season yet. And I don't think I'm going to, to be honest. I think it's just going to sit and wait for Overwatch 2. I've got some goals that I'm shooting for once Overwatch 2 comes out. But for the most part right now, I'm just going to hang out in the game and try and just play around with different people, find some fun people to play with and enjoy it from that side. To experience and build it. I think we've weeded out all of the people that just are there for the for the loud noises and the thrill of the ride and the speed and the... Yeah, you know, and the the cheap or the really expensive candy. I was gonna say cheap candy, but it's cheap candy to buy, or t it's expensive to buy, but cheap candy itself. Like some people are there just for the experience, right? And those are all gone. We they're gone. They they 
we've lost them. Oh my God. There's no way we're like, <laughs> the only way we're going to get them back is once Overwatch two is here. Um, and so at this point we're all trying to really find and settle our way into what we're doing when we're playing Overwatch. I think finding the right communities, finding the right people, um, and setting ourselves up for Overwatch 2, which I think is going to be a blast. So, well, with Overwatch, just talking about Overwatch 1 here, let's move over to Overwatch 2. Any new news? I haven't seen pretty much any. I know we're not, probably not, 99% not, not going to have a third beta. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, there was a lot of speculation in the community of, are we going to get a third beta? But I think Blizzard was pretty clear that they're going to give us the two betas. And originally, I think they said maybe a third. But now that we're getting as close as we are, we only have two months left until we're at Overwatch 2. I think they're just going to hold out and really spend that time fine-tuning and prepping everything for the release. And... I know it sucks from the player's standpoint, but I, I'm i excited to see what they have coming for us, and I'd rather them take that time to really fine-tune it and make it as good as it possibly can before we get our hands on it. Because I, I know you've seen this, and anyone that is truly a gamer has seen every community just rip apart new games when they release them early to try and appease people. They just get torn apart for every little bug or minor thing that's going on. So I'd rather see that good polished game come out in the end. In my opinion, I, I well, I believe that I, I'm totally on board with that. I think they should be releasing at least art. You know, giving us a little, giving us a little bit of hype, like maybe screenshots, maybe a, a, a show us a, like a, not a map, a map that we might get a year from now, right? Do you, do you remember when the first we saw Sojourn? When did we first we saw Sojourn in like the first freaking trailer of Overwatch, didn't we? So Not the first, but it was one of those real early on. So highlights from I think it was. One of the characters, I can't remember. It was the which. recall trailer. It was literally the yeah. recall trailer. <sighs> well, I, I, I like, <clears throat> I think they should be doing that right now for other characters. And even if it's not like, oh, there's a lot of things. Again, this is where I'm frustrated with Blizzard for Overwatch 2. Okay, who cares if they're going to change the hat on the concept art, right? Like, people wear different hats every month. I don't care. Our characters should have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different, like, armor pieces and sets and changes on them. Maybe they go out on a mission one time. It blows off part of their shoulder pad. Of course, they're going to change it. You can put lore behind any type of art to say, oh, this is the way they looked in the past and this is the way they look now, right? Um, so I am very critical on Blizzard doing that. And I know Blizzard doesn't like to do that. They've never really done that. But it just, ah. I, I don't know, some kind of frustration. At least to um to give the full on Overwatch content creators like something to to hype up their communities too cuz I do feel like and I I do uh, the, the I agree or with the concept of like if you can't keep your community you can't keep your stream going or you can't keep anything going because blizzard's not releasing content that's your freaking fault like you, you set yourself up wrong you can't do whatever something every week you can't do something every month you can't do whatever okay you you've failed as a community but in terms of like goodwill like bits that are that have no effort on blizzard's part i feel like they should be at least giving out some bit of that so everybody has something to be hyped for so we can start seeing screenshots online so we can start seeing potential crazy heroes or abilities or maps or regions or whatever the heck you want um even news on the new competitive system even screenshots about how the new competitive system might potentially work which they probably have some idea about how it's going to work in the future anything at all um to show that they've done something because it doesn't feel like three years of work so far or at least it doesn't seem like it's been three years of work so i'm very critical on that 
Um, is there anything, just a question on that too. Is there anything from the Overwatch 2 beta that you absolutely miss that you're sitting when you're playing Overwatch right now going, damn, I wish I was playing Overwatch 2 beta right now? Or Overwatch 2 beta? Um, a few things, actually. I've noticed any time I play Zen, I keep kicking stuff, expecting it to fly away from me. <laughs> yep. So there's some of the mechanics and things that they've changed that just because we got that taste of it and got to get the feeling of how it's going to play, and now we're hopping back to Overwatch 1 with reference to uh, some of the mercy movement and that sort of thing and zenyatta and even like the moira change that they did i'd like to see some of these different changes to the dps tank supports just thrown into the game just to see so we can still get that practice and get used to that and we're not all going into overwatch 2 blind because we got that little taste of it, and now we're back to what, it, with reference to Mercy, it's been the same movement since Overwatch came out. We've developed our own techs there, but now that they're going to rework how she moves, that's a whole different style of key presses that you have to make every time you want to do these certain actions, and... It takes time to learn those, so well, getting anything, the muscle memory down. They had the experimental card. Yeah. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And Pe throw it on there. Pepperidge Farb remembers. <laughs> yeah, throw it on there. Make it, make it at least playable somewhere where we can... Even if it's not getting updated to what's the newest and best and what they're working on at that moment. Just something to keep us interested in the new things coming. Which I think potentially, if we can't get Blizzard to do anything, maybe this is a note to all the content creators out there. Hey guys, maybe we'll come, come back to our original conversation with the workshop. Maybe we could build more content ourselves. Uh... Obviously, they've shown that the workshop is going to be somewhat the same in Overwatch 2 as it is in Overwatch 1. We saw little glimpses of it in the uh, in the Overwatch 2 beta. But I, if we're able to, I don't know, build more content things around that, uh, I, like at least the, the future of Overwatch looks positive, right? Like even if, even if Overwatch 2 is to never come out, I think we as an Overwatch community could start to develop our own versions of the game that might become a little bit and potentially even more popular as we've seen with certain mods becoming full games uh, more popular than the original game. So really this highlights the workshop more than anything else, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think I'm very interested to see if there's anything for Overwatch 2 with the workshop that ends up if we can do workshop modes for even like the PVE and do some things there just to make the game more interesting or if we're going to free to play if the PVE isn't a part of that free to play having and I'm sure this will happen of workshop modes that mimic that PvE experience to the best of their ability so that even if they're not getting the rewards per se from PvE they can still get to play that mode and enjoy it. Just yeah, I, I think more people playing, I think the summary of that is kind of more people playing more fun games in Overwatch is good for Overwatch, right? Like, <laughs> uh, like, there's a lot more to it, but that seems to be like our consensus here. I, I agree. Like, that's where we should be, we should be going. Um, is there any specific game mode that you would like to shout out for people if they're very curious, they want to go in, and you go, well, okay, this this is the game in the workshop that you should look for and try and set up first. Bastion fishing. Bastion fishing. <laughs> That's all it you. It is. 
But I don't know how to explain it, but the peace of mind of fishing as a robot is amazing. Does it does it beat the Minecraft fishing experience? A hundred percent. Okay. Okay, you hear that, guys. Bastion Fishing. Go check that out. There's even some websites out there that have workshop codes. You can go look those up there. Um, that being said, guys, we are at the end of our Scrubcast episode. Uh, I want to thank Wild so much for coming out. Thank you, Wild. My pleasure. And, of course, guys, if you like what we're doing, patreon.com slash scrub club. Come support us. A dollar a month helps. I actually do have some new goals set out that I want to hit um, where we do more weekly events, more weekly coaching things. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out much larger stuff because there's a lot of different things we can do, of course, as we add to it. So every dollar helps, guys. Of course, subscriptions through Twitch. Twitch.tv, check us out. Uh, Sulak underscore. And also we have the YouTube channel. If you're not subbed there, go check it out because this is where this gets up- uploaded. Obviously, if you're listening to it now, then whatever. Uh, it's the Scrub Club Media channel. You can check it out on YouTube. Um, other than that... I guess thank you all so much for coming out. Wild, thank you again. And I will see you all, I'll see everybody either in the next episode if you're with us just listening or in uh, or during Scraps, which is in about 30 minutes. So, of course, you can come join the Discord too. All the information is at scrub-club.ca. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>